okay look this problem says the base is uh, is a source of excitation which is having a damping element so usually the car wheel is a good example because it if the car it, like it's, it's a bumpy road here and the car uh, runs on the road and the wheels they keep on vibrating vertically and that vibration goes into the passengers through some damping damping element is there the base is exciting with this sinusoidal like simple harmonic motion and derive an expression for the x which is uh, the steady state amplitude of the motion so we can derive it and derive the expression for the force transmitted to the steady uh, force transmitted ft through the base to the uh, to the mass steady steady state amplitude of the force transmitted to the, to the support okay let's do this first of all i would do the free body diagram correct that is the first step so this is vibrating with x and when this moves to the uh, vertically upward this will move downward it will move downward they will spring and damper always oppose oppose the motion of the mass so the force of the spring would be the difference of the two ends this end would be written first the velocity because spring uh, the the damper is proposed the force of the damper is proportional to the velocity so that's why x dot would be written first then negative y dot and for the other uh, for the other part the force the spring force will be minus k this end would be written first minus the other end which is ground so it's minus kx which is equal to minus kx so now you have written down so all the forces you found it you have a question okay now all the force equals mass times acceleration so I'm gonna show you here the forces which I have minus C the damping force most of the students they do not write down the other end motion they forget which is not correct so I'm I'm trying to emphasize this portion here that you should not forget this in your uh, problems when I give you such problems Now, <clears throat> you just rearrange it, mx double dot plus c, and let's put the x terms here on the left hand side, and the right hand side, I would bring the y terms on the right hand side, okay, now, we are in the good shape now the for the transfer function since we have to find out the x so let's do the transfer function so for that I need to do the Laplace transfer some people what they do they assume a m a, x equals to e e to the s t like this and it is it, it will give you the same answer if, if you plug in this a s e to the s t because this means e to the st means uh, s is what i omega t correct which is like a cosine omega t plus iota sine omega t so this is also sinusoidal function which is simple harmonic motion the solution is like vi uh, vibrating motion this is the both so let's do the the same way like laplace m s square big x c s big x K big X and now the transfer function is output over input CS over <coughs> MS square agreed now let's plug in let's plug in X equals to i omega that's what we have okay e to the st means e to the i omega t like euler theorem the formula which you have studied in your complex algebra correct 
so I'm gonna replace s by i omega so t the frequency domain it is i I will say let's write it down c omega i over minus m um, omega square this is plus c i omega correct now you have to rearrange it in such a way that you will find out what is this so let me write it down let's plug it in this thing over here so I can write down here 1 minus r squared so k minus m, om m omega squared so if I rewrite everything here c omega i over k so I can write down here 1 minus r square this is just a rearrangement and nothing else. you will find out this this boils down to this answer We know that omega n equals to square root k over m and c over m equals to 2 zeta omega n and now what is this equals this is equal to x over so i can write down x over y that is equal to So you have to take the magnitude. This what is the magnitude? So the magnitude. So I will say. <clears throat> do you know how to take the magnitude of a complex number? You take the square of real number plus square of the component of the imaginary number. Take the whole square root. That's how you take the magnitude. So so I'm gonna write down two zeta r. okay this is the expression so you just take this this is our required answer what is the find find out the steady state amplitude of the motion of mass which is x so x equals to so i'm going to remove the square root sign this cancels by this square so you're left with 2 zeta r over this is actually square root sign here so i'm going to write down here 1 minus r square whole square plus the amplitude of the base excitations correct and now the second question is asked uh, derive the expression for the force the transmitted force so ft equals to so if you take a look here To the base so the relevance of if you study of the force transmitted to the support so this is I believe this is a support to so kx ft equals to kx so the thing is this this is our support this is the spring this is the mass this is the damper and this is our base excitation So what is x? You will write this down everything like k times whatever it is. This will be written over here. You see my point? So this is your answer.